Finally, an iPad note-taking app that integrated liquid glass and floating beautifully. I'm talking about Notewise, an app I've covered here on the channel before, and I just had to share the updates that made me like taking notes on iPad again. They knew I would love these updates, so I'm sharing them with you in this video. Now, you know I love starting with pricing when it comes to these app reviews and deep dives to frame out the video. Now, what I love specifically about Notewise is that you can get started with Notewise with 10 free notes which is very generous to most other note-taking apps. I usually find the limit to be like three or five and Notewise is double or more than double that. Love it. Notewise has three different plans for pricing with a very easy to understand breakdowns of what you're getting out of each, much of which comes down to AI tools and usage and storage capacity limits on the notes that you take. I currently use Notewise Cloud Starter, but with the basic and pro plans, those are solid options as well. With Starter, I find being that perfect value balance of price and function, in my opinion. One highly requested feature I see in the iPad note-taking world is cross-platform sync. It seems like an elusive feature and Notewise has it. You wanna hop on their subscription if that's important to you, but it's exactly what it sounds like. You can start taking notes on your iPad, add it on your Android phone, or review it on your computer in a web browser. I know many of you have been asking for that from these other note-taking apps, so that is something to keep in mind. There's also unlimited options to pay a one-time fee to use Notewise. I like this option too, though I find a lot of the features of Notewise worth using through the subscription, including that cross-platform sync if you're juggling multiple devices. If you've seen my other note-taking app deep dives and reviews, you know I am quite the snob when it comes to the interface. I want it to look good, I want it to match the aesthetic of my iPad OS, and I also want it to function well. And Notewise hits it out of the park with this update. I love organizing by folders. I'm a very visual person, and being able to keep the folders at the top when importing my presentations, notes, textbooks, or planners in the app, it's just big for me. You'll notice you can customize the color of the folders, and I mean truly customize. You can paste in the hex codes of your favorite colors, and you're not locked into a specific set of colors to choose from. Tags are another way you can organize your files and documents in Notewise, of which you're able to fully customize the color of as well. Now, I have folders by subject matter, but then you'll see that I have tabs created specifically by my class code to make it easier to pull up all of the files based on that specific class. You can also organize by favoriting files too. When you're actually inside a note in the app, Notewise has flawlessly created these floating toolbars that feel very liquid glass in a way that's done well and feels very fluid. It's just really nice to navigate and use, and it doesn't feel like it's getting in the way of the note-taking experience. Under the settings, you can change the position of the toolbar and also reorder the tools to your liking as well. When I was a student, I got every file type there was. PDFs, PowerPoints, Google Docs, Microsoft Docs, Excel, just a ton. And it was a pain trying to convert everything to PDF to be able to import into note-taking apps to mark up and annotate them. Since my last review of Notewise, so they actually expanded the file types that you can import. You can import more than just PDFs now. Notewise handles Microsoft Office files, you know, PPT, DocX, images, and more, and you can insert them into an existing note, making it even that much easier to import tons and tons of files. So if you have lots of presentations and readings, textbook files that you need to import, it's so simple to do so now. And you can drop those imports into existing notes in Notewise if you need to. The one thing that makes or breaks a note-taking app is the handwriting experience. And luckily, Notewise has an incredible handwriting engine. I said this in my last video, Notewise is like the top app for me when it comes to the experience of actually writing in the app. There's just something about it that the second my stylus touches the screen I'm writing, it just feels so incredible. The ballpoint pen tends to be the pen that I gravitate towards in the note-taking apps that I use because I really like the monoline look, but I also find the other pen options in many note-taking apps to just kind of suck in comparison to ballpoint. Note-wise though, their fountain pen is actually incredible and you can really dial in the settings of the pen to get it to your liking. There's like no latency between my pencil's contact with the screen and when I write, and it's truly one of my favorite note-taking apps to write in. Aside from a decent screen protector and a soft pencil sleeve, using a Zoom box is one of my top recommendations for writing neatly on iPad. 
and Notewise added it since my last review. It's great for those long note-taking sessions especially. What I love about Notewise over other iPad note-taking apps is how built out the tools are. It's not just a pen tool. They have additional settings to really dial it in. It's not just an eraser. There are more advanced features to tap into, and that's no different with the Shapes tool. It's arguably one of the best Shapes tools I've ever used since switching to digital note-taking. If you're taking a lot of chemistry or math notes especially, or you just draw a lot and wanna tap into those more advanced features of using Shapes, Notewise is the app to download. The time I save just by using the sine, cosine, quadratic graphs is crazy and it's already perfect. I don't have to erase and try and draw and snap to a line to get the perfect graph. The stuff that you'd have a hard time freehanding or the time that you would spend trying to perfect these shapes while taking your notes is already all here in Notewise. And because this app is insane with the customization, you can customize it even further by choosing different line types, the border width and color and fill colors. I feel like this app literally thought of everything when it comes to these tools. Case in point, the ruler. A nice to have for taking notes for sure, but Notewise also has a protractor and triangle ruler now. And because of course you can, you can go in and further change up the settings of each of those two. And that just blows my mind. Notewise is clearly taking notes themselves because we're seeing that built out into these settings. Other tools you didn't know you needed until you used Notewise is the tape tool. Slap it on and you can hide and reveal the notes underneath. Perfect for testing yourself and reviewing your notes. Tables, this is nice not to even need to draw yourself, truly. Great for comparison charts and organizing information. And in true Notewise fashion, wildly customizable. And then sticky notes. Just quickly add them to your notes when you have more to add. I find that these work best for notes or documents that you might be collaborating on with someone else, maybe a research document or a paper, whatever you're collaborating with. I find that sticky notes works best for that. Audio recording, basically the new requirement of iPad note taking apps, right? So you can record your lecture or meetings while you're taking notes. And all of the other tools that you would expect in a note taking app. The only place where I feel like Notewise comes up a little short is with the text tool. It would be nice if they had a larger selection of fonts, though they did add more since I last reviewed the app, and to even allow me to use some of the custom fonts that I have installed as profiles on my iPad, but they do have my favorite font, so I can't complain too much. The notes you take on iPad are obviously important, but they're useless if you can't quickly search them up. And you should be able to search them by text or your own handwriting, and with the power of AI in Notewise, you can now search your handwritten notes, which is oddly something that you're not able to do in every note-taking app. This is powerful for referencing notes that you're deep in research mode, or if you simply need to reference something that you've written previously. And it's something I do all of the time without really thinking about it. So it really stops me in my tracks when note-taking apps don't have this feature. And I'm truly surprised that not all of the apps on the market do yet. Notewise AI is a new feature since I've last covered it here on the channel and it essentially lets you chat with your notes. Summarize key takeaways, organize your notes into an outline more conducive for studying, or helping you write the first draft of your paper from your own research or notes collections. I'm a little timid when it comes to AI. I feel like it's done really well in Notewise too. It doesn't bother you to use it and it's out of the way. So if you don't want to tap into those AI features, it's easily tucked away where you could literally just ignore it if you didn't want to use it. You can even request it to create a podcast from your notes, which I think is just a creative way to take in information in a different way. And in preparation for exams or tests, you can use Notewise AI to quiz yourself on your notes and PowerPoints. And what I like is that it takes that out of just the simple chat window and puts it in an interactive quiz for you to test yourself, which I think is really cool. My favorite feature of Notewise AI though is Magic Select. If I come down here and press the plus button and then I tap Magic Select, I can circle anything in my notes, paragraphs, equations, and I can get help solving or understanding what I selected. Super helpful for clarifying difficult to understand concepts. Now I graduated with my bachelor's in chemistry and involved a lot of research and lab work and pulling up different reference material. And it was a lot to manage in the note taking app I was using at the time, which is why I love the library and clipboard feature in Notewise because I can call back on notes or information that I copied previously 
reference it and pull it back into my notes while I'm planning out the next steps of my research project or outlining papers and lab documents. Another favorite and new feature of mine is Quick Switch. If you tap this icon here, you'll see your recently opened notes but there is a section here at the top of notes and files inside Notewise that I've pinned. And this makes it easier to jump back into notes that I open often. Not only do I find this magical for quickly hopping back into something like my digital planner, but this is also perfect for jumping back into notes, presentations, or files as you're studying or compiling all of your notes together. Speaking of digital planners, Notewise now has a marketplace where you can search those, just a ton of different digital planning template options, note taking and study templates too. It can be fun to explore different templates to organize your life. And some are even included for free with a subscription. So that was Notewise, another fun deep dive into the new features and updates. I'll have a link to my previous video on Notewise in the description so you can check out even more of the tools and features that I've covered before. If you wanna try out everything I showed today, I'll have the link to check out the app down below. And if you're new here and love iPad planning and digital creativity and all things tech meets organization, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next deep dive. Let me know what else you're interested in seeing and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Notewise is killing it, killing it.